Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is racing, actually. This is uh, Pocono Raceway. This is the Friday, second NASCAR weekend of 2019. Um, this was late July, July 26th to be specific. There was no cup action until the next day. So today is just ARCA and trucks. There is at least one ARCA and one truck practice um, late morning, early afternoon. And then there was ARCA qualifying in mid-afternoon and then the ARCA race around 4.30. Then after that, around 6 o'clock, the trucks qualified. So it was a full day. I uh, have a bunch of stuff to show at the end. Uh, a bunch of autographs, a bunch of die cast stuff, old die cast that I think you guys will enjoy. Uh, actually, um, the die cast will be in a separate video that you can easily find because I'll probably put it in a card or something um, on the video. But uh, I always unpackage die cast in a separate video just because it takes so long. Uh, but you can see the outside and like what those cars are at the end of this video. I just won't, don't open them till another video. Um, what else? Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, a lot of autographs, a lot of meeting drivers. Um, and uh, pretty good stuff. So other than that, um, thanks for watching and enjoy the video. Yeah, it's true. See, this car from the front, front looks different. It's number three. Oh. These are just generic cars that aren't really based off anything. Chevy's right there. Yeah. Thank you. 
enough to end this session. We only had enough. They're going to push there for air common service for the or well known services. There's been a track here in Bogano for many, many years doing this job, bringing off the white cell phone. Was funny, sir. He's like, no, I'm, he goes, I don't have my wallet. <laughs> I got free stuff. You know your fans. And then, like, listen, when girls start showing up an hour and a half. For Joe Graff. Keeping an eye on time of the fastest cars. The final final. Yeah, I guess now it's really fun to take the green flag in his qualifying lap walk turn number three. <laughs>
Jersey number three, Bugsy Repair Ford, from Fredericksburg, Virginia, Willie Mullins. Line up 13, to the number 46, Transportation Impact Ford, from Trinity, North Carolina, Dan Moffitt. From 12 to the number one, representing the Clemson Tigers in the Chevrolet from Boston Spa, New York, Ed Pumba. From 11 in the number five, Lucas Oil Chevrolet, the pride of Lebanon, Pennsylvania, Bobby Gerhardt. From 10 in the number 77, Eat Sleep Race Chevrolet. From Mawa, New Jersey, Joe Grant Jr. <laughs> Lining up ninth at the number 23, Holmes 2 Excavating Chevrolet. From Munford, Alabama, Rick Holmes. <laughs> Starting eighth at the number 27, Matrix Care, Consensus Healthcare, Liberty Village Board. From Wheeling, West Virginia, Travis Braden. From seventh and number 32, Wintron Racing Chevrolet. From Austin, Texas, Austin Wayne South. Starting six and the number 28, GMParksNow.com Chevrolet. From St. Joseph, Quebec, Canada, Raphael Lazar. Starting fifth at the number 22, Speedway Children's Charities Board. From Marietta, Georgia, Corey Hine. Lining up fourth at the number 25, Sinclair Lubricants Toyota. From Salt Lake City, Utah, Current Arkham and Art Series Point Leader, Michael Self. From third at the number 20, Craftsman Tolls Toyota. From Talking Rock, Georgia, Chandler Smith. Now our front row, lining up second in number 50, JBL Audio Toyota. From Middletown, New York, Christian Eckes. And for the pole position in the number 18, Monster, Terrible Hurst, Orca, Advanced Auto Force Toyota. From Huntersville, North Carolina, Todd Gilliland. And there they are, race fans, the starting lineup for today's Arca Menard Series, Forks USA 150. Please remain standing as Billy Molden of Motor Racing Outreach offers today's invocation. Praise God and Heavenly Father, as we rise once again, Lord, to recognize your presence in our lives. We ask you to be with these drivers, teams, officials today, Lord, let everybody have a safe day of racing. Father, we don't take for granted our opportunities that we have to even be here. And the men and women of our armed forces and first responders who are protected that freedom for us, Lord, we ask you to be with them and be with their families as well. Lord, may your peace and may your presence just be with us all. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Here to honor America with her performance of our national anthem, please welcome Melissa Myers. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming. Oh, say does that star spangled
Let's really hear it for Melissa Myers for her performance of our national anthem. Peter Sadoff. Climbers, start your engine. Potential threat of severe weather for the area in the forecast. We strongly recommend that you clear the grandstand area and find appropriate cover. If you are staying on the property, please be advised that your safety is your personal responsibility. Please be sure to secure all your items at your campsite. Again, the potential threat of severe weather is expected in the area. If you are staying on the property, please take the necessary precautions. Again, there's Let's get these cars on the road.
Sheldon Creed just turned fourth fastest time in Pocono. Okay, so this is everything gotten at uh, at Pocono on Friday, July 27th. Just going to a NASCAR weekend on a Friday with really not much going on, especially compared to previous years in the fanfare area. You still get a lot of stuff. Um, so yeah, as I just mentioned, fanfare was very disappointing. Lots of empty spaces. Um, Chevy really downgraded their tent and I'll get a little bit more into that later because there's something here that's kind of related to that and you know just less haulers less companies showing up and talking to other people that it's you know it's not just a Friday thing it's the whole weekend where it's just empty so, and they did that back in June too so I have no idea what's going on with Pocono but uh, fanfare sucks this year apparently and everything's just all changed around and everything but anyway, still got a bunch of stuff. Got like nine different autographs or whatever. Let's start with, you know, most boring stuff and let's work our way up to the exciting stuff. Uh, now these two uh, are not really stuff that I got there, just stuff that I printed out. Um, you know, how you know where where um, drivers and stuff are doing appearances is you look up the online schedule. And schedule is always changing, always changing. There's even changes. This is printed up on Thursday. There's still changes while we're at the track. So, um, yeah, that's how you know that. And then this is the printed ticket. Only ten dollars to get in. I'm sorry. I guess it. I guess it was the twenty sixth. My bad. Same thing. Uh, general admission. And there it is. Um, so yeah. Um, the, okay, this is from the Chevy tent, although it's not what I was going to say what's related to the Chevy tent. Um, you know, they, if you've ever been to the Chevy tent on at any NASCAR race, um, they always throw out like koozies and stuff. So this is this year's, I guess, or this race. I don't know how long they've been doing this. But this is a Corvette one. So, uh, yeah, pretty plain. Just black on the inside so there we go over in the pile <laughs> um and then we also have a sinclair one which uh michael self brought with him um for the autograph session uh which is really awesome um didn't expect you know anything except like a hero card but hey we got a sinclair koozie out of it um this is really nothing of interest, but still something. Uh, the Go Orange PA sticker. Slow down in work zones. Uh, this is another thing that Pocono changed from previous years. Uh, when you bring in, like, coolers and stuff, um, they put stickers on to make, you know, to show that they were checked. Normally, it's just, like, this small little green sticker, but at least it has Pocono Raceway on it. Um, this... Although I will say these don't come off as easily as the old ones. Because the old ones, like I said, were really small. And they lost stick after just a short time. So they would always fall off. These ones are a bit bigger. They didn't fall off. Uh, and still really sticking on my hand right now. 
but it has nothing to do with the track at all. <laughs> so uh, that, I'd say that's a downgrade. So, uh-oh. It sounded like something broke, but trust me, it didn't. Let's put it back together and we'll be fine. Snap. Back in. There it is. There we go. Uh, another boring thing. Uh, it's just an ad that uh, RE, I guess Racing Electronics, I think is what it is. Yeah, Racing Electronics was just given that out. Because, yeah. Save 10%. Uh, yeah, okay. I don't really think any. I, I would care for a actually owning any of your products to be completely honest um what else kind of gotten rid of all the really you know non-noteworthy stuff uh general tire had a tent and general tire um i don't know why like they do have driver appearances uh because you know they're in arca um but that's not on the pocono schedule at all everything else is always on the pocono schedule and for whatever reason, uh, General Tire isn't. Uh, I don't know why, but uh, uh, but we just happen to be walking past, and there happened to be an Arca driver there. And um, this isn't that. This is something else. Um, I'm just telling the story here. But what that Arca driver said was that there was someone else there too. So apparently, we missed out on. Uh, two ARCA drivers, but, you know, it was never on the schedule. We just happened to be walking past and know someone was there, so. And I have no idea who the other driver was, uh, so it will remain a mystery. And I, w I thought maybe I could make a connection with teams, but uh, in this program, actually what I'm showing on camera right now, this program under ARCA, it doesn't show who's on what team, so there's really no way to tell. Anyway, another thing with General Tire, they, they actually have a huge huge uh setup it's like two different tents and then some cars in the middle of it another thing is uh you didn't really have to do a survey or anything um which you know you did if you have to like spin a wheel to like win free tire change or whatever they always do that but they're actually having um complimentary uh photos taken so that's me yay <laughs> uh there's the two cars there's a richard petty car and just some atv looking thing Greetings from L anywhere, anywhere as possible, blah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, General Tire. Out of all the tents, I say uh, General Tire is the least gimmicky because there were no strings attached. You know, if you have been to a NASCAR race, even something as simple as, you know, that, they come up to you, hey, you want a complimentary signature? Most of the time it's like, well, first you have to do this and uh, yeah. Uh, kind of like the, what I'm about to uh, show off next. So uh, normally I, I don't care, especially for the generic Hot Wheels, because there's just nothing to it. It's not racing related, so I could care less. Uh, Muscle Mania 18 Camaro SS. So that's what this is. Uh, but the reason why I have it is because I, I mentioned Chevy downgraded, and um, this is one of those things where uh, you have to take a survey. This is kind of what I was just talking about with, you know, strings attached sort of thing. It is free all, all in the end, but you have to take, like, a survey that takes at least five minutes with a bunch of questions, uh, and then they hand this to you. Previous years, it was uh, a shirt, which is actually pretty cool. And actually, one of the shirts one year, I got Stort Friesen to sign, so that's still sitting in my closet with a Stort Friesen autograph on it. Um... Well, this year, they really downgraded. It's a generic Camaro SS. Yeah, Camaro. Um, 2018, not even 2019. Uh, Chevy. 2018 Auto Show. So, yeah. Like I said, I could care less. Although I will say, it was kind of interesting. Because, like, the, the people behind the desk or whatever you want to call it. Because, you know, there's a bunch of screens to take the survey. Whoever set that up, there must be like sensors or something behind there. Because the moment I finished, a woman just walked over and handed this to me. <laughs> so they must know like the moment you complete the survey. But yeah, that, that that's what I was talking about. Both when I said uh, Chevy really downgraded 
as you know as well as the whole fanfare um and how general ties really the only one that has a no strings attached sort of thing unless you want to spin a wheel but um that's really the only thing everything else you can just do you know because why not and i guess that's good for general tire they're they're growing their image like that they're leaving a lasting good impression on people um which is why at i guess at tracks you see a lot more general tire ads than you do goodyear um pocono is no exception to that it's a lot more general tire stuff on the walls of pocono i didn't see one goodyear thing um what else so I guess now we're getting to the more exciting stuff. Uh, let's get into what I got at um, the, I guess, a flea market sort of setting. Uh, I got cars from there last last year, um, and it was in a different place this year. I Actually, it could have been in the same place. I don't know. It was kind of weird because last year, you know, it was kind of in a crowded area. It was right next to like a bush set up in a Monster Energy stage. This year is kind of just all by itself because, like I said, it's empty. So it's in this really huge open area, so it was actually pretty hard to tell how far away it was from its location last year. But anyway, I got some cool cars. Three out of the four are promo cars, and if you don't know, promo cars are usually somewhat rare um, because they, they're exclusive to like one company or website or whatever. Uh, and you normally don't find them on eBay. Now, I'm not saying these are completely rare. Like, I think I may have seen this online once or twice. But uh, they're, they're definitely um, not as widespread as, you know, ones that you can just find on Lionel's official website or in Walmart or places like that. So, anyway, let's get started. This is a 2008 U.S. Border Patrol. Uh, promo and doesn't have a driver name on it, but I'm almost positive it's Kenny Wallace 2008 is pretty much when I started watching uh, NASCAR so I I have a pretty good memory of that year and uh, I'm pretty sure it's Kenny Wallace and if you're interested in me Unpackaging all of these cars that will be um, In a separate video like it always is and I guess I'll even include this Hot Wheels. Um, but yeah, that'll be in a separate video because as you can tell, this this video is already 11 minutes long. So that'd be extremely long. Um, Diecast videos are usually just their own video anyway. Um, but yeah, this is such a promo that it doesn't even have a sticker on the side saying like what it is. But uh, yeah, so next one is also 2008. It is a Casey Kane Nationwide Series uh, Ragu Hellman's Whisk promo. This one actually does have the signature on the side, so I was able to tell. It doesn't say any, anywhere on the box, but I was able to tell by the signature. So I'm just trying to move around, trying to get more light on this. I guess also Country Croc and Klondike and Lipton. Contender Series. So that's that. I um, guess we'll do this because this is the third and final promo. This is obviously a bounty promo. Um, this one actually does have the name on it, Kevin Harvick. Uh, one of the first original holograms here. Um, I, this is somewhere mid-2000s. I can't pinpoint an exact year on it unless there's a copyright date on this. 2007 is when this package was made. So... Uh, the car itself could be 2006, could be 2007, I'm not really sure. But anyway, here's your Bounty. And obviously it's in a completely different packaging. So Bounty went all out on this promo. And, uh, yeah. There it is. So, the fourth and final car that I got at the flea market at the Pocono Raceway track is a Team Caliber uh, Michael Waltrip Bush Series Aaron's car. And uh, not much to say about it. You know, it's an early 2000s Aaron's car. Looks exactly like it should. Team caliber, so it's not, you know, the highest quality. But uh, 
hey, we'll take it. This one says 2005 copyright on it. So I'm, I guess it's more mid 2000s. But anyway, here it is. Um, at the the uh, official Pocono hauler that they had, they actually had two of them. First one didn't have this at all, which was strange. Uh, second one did. Uh, and also for whatever reason, I've never gotten like a program or a car um, for 11 years, 2008. And that's the only one I have. But this year I went searching for it and I found it. It was actually weirdly hard to find, but I got it. Let's start with the die cast since I just finished up those die casts. Um, this is sticker. Pocono Raceway. Number 19, fall program car, 2019 Camaro 01, ZL1. Um, you can see the car there. One side of the box says Gander Outdoors 400. The other side says Gander Outdoors 150. You know, being truck race and cup race, both being sponsored by Gander Outdoors. And the whole series of trucks being sponsored by Gander. So, here's the program. I'm going to quickly flip through it here focus and uh there's a table of contents there actually is a good amount of stuff in here mostly ads but you know what do you expect with the program die hard is apparently still a thing <laughs> i haven't heard them since they were sponsoring the talladega race there's a lot of gallery stuff in here too so obviously as always if there's anything you want to see you know how to pause the video you can do it uh, gallery stuff. And as I mentioned, there's a lot of it. That, that's actually what makes up a lot of this video. Or, uh, not video, program. Uh, talking about Pocono groundbreaking articles, tips and tricks. Um, and then shows all different winners of last year's fall races. Um, boasting about social media, uh, Pocono Track Legends, uh, article on Kyle, I don't know how, how high quality this video is, but maybe you can pause it and read some of the articles by pausing the video, I don't know. Um, here's a little bit more in depth on all of the winners from last year. And all, you know, what the race itself kind of was, too. Uh, oh, yeah, they revealed... I just completely forgot about it. I was at that race, too, where they unveiled and announced Gander Outdoors coming to the trucks. Uh, truck winner, Kyle... gallery from that race uh, Arca Zane Smith and then you're gonna see article and here's the gallery uh, kid page um, photo hunt ad and then here's the rosters uh, here we have I see the cup guys, and at the time of whenever they printed this, obviously none of this is officially official, although most of it is correct. Um, trucks, oh, that again, schedule, uh, Arca. Which, by the way, there are signatures in here, too. This is actually what my dad was using for uh, autographs. So, actually, was there any trucks? I need to check that. Uh, I guess not. Um, but anyway, we have, just quickly, we have Michael Self over here. We have Thad Moffat in uh, silver down there. Have Chandler Smith over here. Uh, I guess that's all we got. Uh, rules package. Sarah Page, no there wasn't, uh, infield stuff, dogs, uh, green initiative, 
um, stuff and stuff. Air show, which is brand new. Phantoms and IndyCar. Uh, schedule for the Cup Series. And we're getting toward the end here. Uh, here's your map of the whole track. Um, and then ads. So, yeah, that's the program. Uh, let's go to autographs. We'll start with the hero cards. Then we'll go on to the cars that I got autographed, which there's two of them. And then I'll finally wrap up this video. So, uh, this isn't in order because obviously you just saw I shuffled them up. Uh, this is Gustine. Saw him at the Chevy tent. And he's back with all of his information and stuff. Sheldon Creed. He was at the Chevy tent with uh, Brett Moffitt. Okay, camera. Can you focus, please? There you go. Um, this is the guy that we saw, General Tire, who just happened to be there. Uh, Corey Heim, number 22. Okay. Um, Thad Moffat saw him at, he was at the Chevy uh, 10 to 1230, but I happened to check the uh, schedule online at one point, and all of a sudden he's going to be at the RCR hauler. Um, which is, which is conjoined with, uh, Richard Petty Racing, Motorsports, whatever. And he was just signing at the Merchandise Hauler. So we did that instead. Uh, Brett Moffitt, as I said, he was there at the Chevy tent, same time Sheldon Creed was. Uh, Chandler Smith, he was at the first autograph session of the day in the fan zone. Is really, um... Really hard to believe how many of these ARCA drivers are younger than me now. <laughs> um, Michael Self. Again, uh, first autograph session at FanFest. Uh, Tyler Dipple. These next two um, were at, this, at the Chevy tent same time Gus Dean was. Um, they, these are all drivers of Young's Motorsports, so they're all there at once. Uh, Spencer Boyd is the final one we have here. And, uh, there it is. So now, let's get on to the autographs. Uh, I showed this car off in my last video, uh, when I first got it, Michael Self. And, uh, got it signed. Regrettably, I didn't think about giving him a different color, so he just used the Sharpie that he had, which of course was black. And, uh, if you know anything about these cars... It's a pretty dark interior, so uh, I really don't know how well it's showing up on camera. Uh, in real life, though, if you get you know light on it, it's really not that hard to see. But I can tell my phone's having some trouble picking this up. But it's there. It's <laughs> it's there. Can uh, kind of make out lines and stuff. So trust me, it's autographed, and you can see it a lot better in person than you can on the phone, on the camera. Uh, you can even see where it went over a little bit onto the roof. That one you can definitely see. Uh, but yeah, regrettably I should have given him like, you know, silver or something, but I didn't think about it. Um, and then I did think about it uh, for this Brett Moffat championship truck, but then didn't even think about the fact that the logo, part of the logo was silver. <laughs> Um, but this one you can actually, you actually can, despite the autograph being on the hood of a 164, you can actually make out a B right there and an M. Uh, it's a little bit smeary too, but it's fine. Um, I was kind of upset with it at first, but then, you know, as I just mentioned, if you actually look at it, you can actually make out what it says. Uh, which actually, with more clear signatures on 164 that have gone before, you can't really read what it says. So this is actually somewhat better in a way. Like I said, you can see the B and the M for basically, you know, his initials. So yeah, that's Brett Moffitt 164. This is the last 164 scale uh, glass box that I have. So 
Gonna need to get some more. Um, but yeah, um, I, I don't, yeah, like I said, I have no idea how well this is actually coming up. This, that might be a little bit better angle, but you can see an M right there. I don't think he even wrote his whole first name. He just wrote M and then self. Uh, M right there and self. <laughs> so how does it look in extreme light? Uh, any better? Oh, that may be a little better, actually. Yeah. So anyway, uh, I'm sorry that's not coming up as well. I said I should have given them a different color. But anyway, um, if you've never been to a race weekend uh, any day, um, it's a really good experience, better than any other sport. Um, any, you know, there's lots of driver appearances and stuff. Uh, and whenever they do an appearance, as you can tell, they always bring hero cards, so there's always something to sign. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. This is, this was just Friday. So, um, I will unpackage these six die casts at a later date, probably next video. Uh, everyone who subscribed to me for my uh, other sports content is probably getting really frustrated because this is like the third, or at the time this will be uh, released, it's like the third uh, NASCAR video in a row. <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah, so this will be all in a separate video, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed everything else. So this was almost half an hour, so you can see why I do these in a separate video. But anyway, thanks for watching guys, and I will see you all later. So one more thing that uh, we got, but I just forgot about, it's really not that big of a deal, is Weiss had a, uh, a tent there. And basically, you spun a wheel, and you got coupons. <clears throat> so, basically, if we, to put it simply, paper towel coupon, ice cream coupon. I didn't actually even spin ice cream, he just gave it to me anyway. I think I got some, I, I got cereal, and he gave me ice cream anyway, so... Good man. Um, but basically, yeah, that, that's it. That, you know, like, it's not really anything important. But it is something that we got. So I uh, wanted to add that to the video. So, bye.